Well, but it, it's, I mean, I'm not sure how much time you should spend with something I'm, like I'm such as this, Mr. Price, but part of it is this. You know, the setup is the, a big, a big part of this attack is what would cause somebody to behave this way. And it really goes for everybody involved. What we call the police to behave this way, what we call the defendant to behave this way. So then there's been some testimony that the police say that he said that he was upset about his girlfriend. Why don't you just ask if he's upset about his girlfriend? Let's get closer. Okay. I'll just, get to we want to move along. Okay. Right? But I think it's relevant. Right, some part. Of it. Okay, so it is, I am correct, Mr. Masters, that. Prior to leaving your residence, you were there with your girlfriend, is that correct? The, I lived with my roommate and my girlfriend was uh, at the house, yeah. Okay. And when you, were you upset with your girlfriend prior to leaving your residence to go out and get this beer and snack? I wasn't, I wasn't mad, I was, I was sad. She was going to go out dancing with her friends and I didn't want to go out dancing. I mean, I don't, I don't go out drinking, I don't go out partying because I just want to you know, become a U.S. history teacher. Okay, did you... Did you tell Detective Cassie or Detective Browning that you were upset that evening because your girlfriend was going to go out with a, a, another young lady that evening? No, I, I said that I was sad about it. So if, is that what you mean by upset? No, no, no. I, I mean upset. When I say upset, I mean upset. I was, I was sad about it. I mean, she was going to you know, go party, and I was just going to stay uh, at the house by myself and watch some TV. So that's why I had went to the store to get something to drink, give me a stack, and I was just going to stay inside the house. Would you agree with me that when you left the residence, part of your purpose of going to the store was in an attempt to cool off? It wasn't an attempt to cool off. It was, uh, I was resigned to the situation. Um, she could do what she wants to do. She wants to go out dancing. So I was just uh, going to be at the house by myself. I mean, I was sad about it. She was going out, you know, with somebody that wasn't me. It was Friday night, so. And she did leave me, you know, shortly after this. So, Mr. Masters, what would you say, how would you describe, let me, let me rephrase that, how would you describe your demeanor to this jury uh, shortly before you encounter the white vehicle on the evening of December 7, 2012? Can you repeat the question? How did... How, how would you describe to this jury your demeanor right. on the evening of December 7, 2012, prior to encountering that white vehicle? I'll say cool, calm, and collected. And let me just be clear on, on one thing here. Just just so we're all clear, you threw the first punch on the evening of December 7, 2012 to Detective Cassie. Is that correct? With provocation, yes. Well, you threw the first punch. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury where Detective Cassie was when you threw the first punch? He was five feet in front of me, and so I took a step, and as soon as he exited the door, that's, that's when I hit him. Okay. So when you say he was five feet in front of you, can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury how far he was away from his vehicle? He was in his vehicle, so he was stepping out, and he would put one foot on the ground, and he was looking at me, and then that's... Okay, so it's fair to say that as Detective Cassie was getting out of the vehicle, you approached the vehicle, and then that's when you struck him. Is that correct? I took one step forward and I hit him. So yes, yes. Okay, but you struck him. You struck him before he was able to completely exit the vehicle. Is that correct, sir? Yes. Okay. And is it your testimony here today? At no time 
did you hear either Detective Browning or Detective Cassie say police? No, they never said it. Okay. Even if they had said that, would, that wouldn't have really mattered to you, would it, have, would it, Mr. Masters? It would have. When they did say it, that's when I surrendered. So if they would have said it prior to it, you know, I would have, uh, I respect the police. Well, your earlier testimony, sir, is that even though he said police, the police could be anybody. Yeah. So although Detective Cassie or Detective Browning shouted police prior to you approaching the vehicle, you still continue to approach the vehicle in an aggressive manner. Is that correct, sir? Yeah. Because in your words, sir, the police could be anybody. Is that correct? No, that's not correct. Uh, when he said he was the police, I took his word for it. Because actually, I, I generally believe people mean what they say and they believe what they say. So I looked for some other evidence or some other sign that he was a police officer. So had they told me that there was the police to begin with, that nothing, nothing would have happened. I mean, they would have said the police, you know, get off to the side. I would have got off to the side. They would have asked me whatever questions. They needed to ask me for whatever reason they want to stop me. You heard the uh, testimony of Detective Cassie yesterday or Friday, I'm sorry, Friday when he indicated that you made the comment to him that you want to F me, you want to F me, don't you? Do yeah. you recall that testimony? They both said that. Okay. And do you recall saying that, sir? No. Okay. Do you, is, is, is that something that you normally will say under circumstances like this, sir? I, I said, I mean, they had punched an innocent man, so are you, are you going to fuck me up? Are you all going to fuck me up? Or are you going to keep on hitting me? Or is, is this over? Are you all done? You know, I didn't, I didn't know who they were, and they just kept on coming at me. Okay. Do you ever recall using similar terminology like that prior to December 7, 2012, sir? Have I ever cussed before? No, 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 not cuss. Kind of the same type of language that was used. In other words, you want to F me, you want to F me, don't you? Or you want to rape me, you want to rape me, don't you? Or something uh, along those lines. I don't recall. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Are, are you, when, when you, do you, uh, you own a computer, don't you, Mr. Masters? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you blog, sir? Yeah. Uh, you ever heard of a Louisville forum, topics.com? Objection, Your Honor. Can we approach, please? What? Is this, is that true, is this, is this him ranting about things after the date? No, that's, that's, bef yeah. This is September 8th of Right, 2013. of 2013. But Judge, that is his MO. So that is consistent with, the, with, with what Detective Cassie said. In other words, mm, he's saying, you want to rape me, you want to rape me, don't you? No, it's your, it's, it's, you want, it's, it doesn't help us a bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. It, it goes like this. Yeah. It's, it's a long way from this whole deal. You, you want to fuck me or whatever. You're just trying to fuck me up. And there's an issue about whether it's you want to fuck me, you want to fuck me up. Then we want to get into, well, you really want to rape me. You know, I mean, that ain't, no, that's not in this case at all. No. It's not in the case. You know, there's, there's, you can kind of stretch it out where he said, you want to fuck me or something like that. So, you know, that's different than, and we can't, we're, we're losing sight of what we're doing here. And the case is going to rise or fall on the, the information we have already. And I don't want to bring in a lot of extraneous stuff that's just going to inflame the jury or whatever. Okay, well, let me ask you this, Judge. I'm about to ask him about his comments that he made about LMPD. So what are my parameters there? I just okay. need... Um, I mean, he's got a video out there that says LMPD sucks. 
Okay, was that before or after the incident? I, I think it was after the incident. Well, you got yeah. to know. So it's after. Okay, so. Okay, hang on. How many, what are the sort of lines of inquiry do you have? Different subject matter? Do you have more areas that you want to pursue? Yeah, I do. I, w I want to pursue about uh, the civil lawsuit, his motive. I mean, I want to talk about the fact that he, I mean, he, he's already admitted that he filed this mm -hmm. federal law. And his motive behind there, he's blogged that uh, my lawyers told me that, you know, this is about money. I'm not paying them anything, and, I, and this is all about money. I mean, he's blogged all of this stuff under his own name. Well, okay, what else? Do you have other avenues, other areas that you want to try to explore there? Yeah, uh, uh, I, 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 I need to be clear on how he approached this uh, question about the vehicle, Judge, because I've think. got... Uh, He's pretty damn clear about the vehicle, Carl. He says he punched the 40 guy out of the car. I mean, that's, you know, I don't know what more you need. What are we talking about? Okay, let me see. What I mean, I, mean. I, don't, I don't know what, you know, how... You know, so we're going to get... So you want to talk... Okay, let me make sure I understand this. Okay. Let's do this. I don't care what the guy says afterwards unless it is contradictory if he, if he contradicts facts right so if he says something afterwards that blogs or whatever and in his blog he says something different than what he's testified here today then that's significant right what about but the sworn testimony about ridiculous things does not, not matter to me at all I mean, we're, gonna get, we're getting beyond what we're here for which was what happened that day and we got all the facts we need right now for what happened that day. Now, you, so the rest of this is sort of what's his frame of mind, but it has to be his frame of mind before the incident. What caused the runoff? Afterwards, so, he's pissed off about it, so what? Okay, so what about the sworn statements? All the sworn statements that Let's he gave that are inconsistent. Let's go back up for a second. Let me send the jury out. Let me send the jury out, and we'll move forward with this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to need to take a break, and we have to get ourselves organized, and it's something that happens all, all the time in trials. Uh, we need to get ourselves organized to make sure that we uh, get you all the information that you need. So we're going to take about 15 minutes. Again, uh, you need to uh, reserve your judgment. Do not formu formulate an opinion about the case. Uh, don't discuss the case among yourselves. Uh, don't allow anyone to approach you and attempt to discuss the case with you. Should somebody attempt to discuss this case with you, notify the deputy or myself, and we'll take appropriate uh, steps. So I'd say, uh, if you would, assemble on Deputy Weathers in about 15 minutes. I'll rest with jury. And uh, Mr. Masters, you can stand down too. Uh, again, uh, I, you cannot talk to anybody about what you testified about or what you intend to testify about, uh, but you don't have to stand up there or sit up there. All right, now let's get through this, uh, Mr. Price, and see if we can. Because right. I'd really love to just move forward on this. Okay. Um, okay. So we, okay. Uh, any statement that the defendant made after the event, uh, we're going to have to go through every one of them. And there's a difference. There's a difference. If there's a statement, it's because you, we had talked about uh, the fact that the defendant's got given several sworn statements, whether it's affidavits, whether it's a sworn statement to the grand jury, whether it's a, some kind of sworn statement to the uh, professional integrity unit or whatever it is, those sworn statements, in those affidavits or sworn statements, the defendant under oath is alleging facts, right? So he's in response to questions or what, however it's presented, the defendant would, has outlined certain facts. Now, anything in those, those sworn statements that is contrary to what he said today is certainly admissible. So let's, okay. let's understand that. Now, now, the only thing I'm concerned about is I'm not sure that, 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 that the defense has 
the, we don't have the grand jury transcript. You don't have the tape of the grand jury there, uh, Mr. Shore? No, I do not. Is it Shore or Shore? Shore. 